Good evening. According to Wikipedia, the most common ghost sighting in England is Anne Boleyn, although I think that might just be people watching Wolf Hall. Two fresh teams in contention tonight, and they are, on my right, Tom West, a solicitor who recently spent the entire day on a train in order to attend a meeting at which only he was present. Hugh Trimble, an English teacher whose bottom appears on the cover of the OL27 Ordnance Survey map, and their captain, Gail Trimble, a classics lecturer who celebrated her 30th birthday by dressing up as Catullus's girlfriend, Lesbia. All big fans of board game figurines, they are the Meeples. Gail, many viewers will remember you from University Challenge. Who are your teammates for this quiz? My husband, Tom, and my brother, Hugh. Do you quiz normally together as a team, or is it just for this? If, if, if we ever get together, yeah, but normally, you know, Tom and I are watching this quiz together at home, and, uh, yeah, if ever Hugh and I are back with our parents, we do the same. So, yeah, it's a lot of quizzing. Excellent. This evening, you are facing, on my left, Michael Thompson, a PhD student who has a cupboard in his home entirely devoted to his collection of imported Mexican chilies. George Fazoko, a native Canadian who used to work as a security guard at Toronto's Gardner Museum of Ceramic Art. And their captain, Roderick Cremar, a chartered accountant with a degree in engineering who's qualified to drive a forklift truck. United by a love of Latin America, they are the Tequila Slammers. Found any good Mexican restaurants in Cardiff? Haven't had time yet, I'm afraid. Do you actually like eating Mexican food? Absolutely, yes. Will you go in if there isn't a man outside in a sombrero telling you the menu? I will not go in, no. Quite right, quite right. You won the toss, Tequila Slammers, but you have elected to put your opponents in first. So, Meeples, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. I want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Here's the first. Is that? No, he's not an actor, that's Albert Finney. Who's that? Sorry, another person. Um, Next. That doesn't mean anything to me. It could mean, like, um, maker of Wurzels. Yeah, that's true. Um, next. He invented, he invented the toilet. The toilet. Yeah. He did, so... So is it something that, like, like what was named something. after them? Oh. Like that they, that they invented a thing that is, like, what yeah, their name is. Yeah, that sounds a bit like what their name is. Yeah. Should we go for that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. We think these people invented things that sound as if um, they could have been named after them, but weren't. Are you a frequent user of the Wurzelbacher? Uh, no, because it was called something else. Cunning. But I'm afraid that is not the right <laughs> answer, so I'm going to show the last clue to the Tequila Slammers for a possible bonus point. Wizards. Uh, wizards? Talk me through the clues. Well, I think one of them was known as the Wizard of the Dribble. Um... Ah. That's as far as it goes. And now, I think that Stanley Matthews was the Wizard of Dribble, only because I've heard it in a previous quiz. The key thing here is the nickname. Sir Tom Finney was the Preston Plumber. All plumbers. Thomas Crapper didn't actually invent the loo. People say that he did. He sort of modified the design, didn't actually invent it. Clue two, nobody knows who that is? No. Uh, from the American political uh, event. He's a Conservative commentator and he, yes, exactly, he got caught up in an election yeah, campaign. Turned out he wasn't a, a fully qualified plumber. They called him Joe the Plumber, was it? But, I mean, who's a fully qualified yeah. plumber? Certainly none of the ones that have been through my house. And uh, Mario, of course, are from the Mario Brothers, a plumber. So, no points there. Tequila Slammers, your turn to choose. Two reads, please. Two reads. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. What's the charging to do with? Next, please. Metaphors, are they being compared to things? Are these symbols in the paintings? Or... No, no. Next, please. Oh, these, these are, are um, things that bring you luck if, if you kiss them. And next, please. Things that are rubbed. Yeah, these are, if, these are statues, so that's it, that's it. These are things that are rubbed for good luck. That is absolutely right. Tell me about those statues. Where are they? What are they? Well, I presume the last one is the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Actually, not the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln's tomb in Illinois. It's got a sort of shiny gold nose you can rub for luck. Um, is that a, the second last one at Harvard University? In the Harvard Yard. Yes, it's a statue marked John Harvard founded this university in uh, 1638. It's known as the Statue of Three Lies because people say that he didn't found Harvard and it wasn't founded in 1638 and the statue isn't him. 
<laughs> but other than that, it's perfect. And Juliet's right breast, that's in Verona. Verona. They say it's lucky for lovers, you rub the breast. And the charging bulls, testicles, what do you know yeah. about them? Is that the one in Wall Street? Yes, it's in New York City. You rub it for financial good fortune. Very well done. Back to you for a question, Meeples. What would you like? Twisted facts. The twisted facts. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Mm. Uh, Next. The magazine. Yeah, they do sound like fake magazines or something. Uh, yeah. Let's keep, let's keep yeah. going. Next. Oh, like the Osborne book of or whatever. Next. Do they just like not or not exist or? They definitely sound like titles, don't they? Are they all uh, fictional magazines of this? That's a very good guess, but no, they are not. Tequila Slammers, you want to have a go for a bonus? Is it something to do with translations of the word black? I'm afraid that's not it. You'll know this or not according to how you watch television. They are micro-genres on Netflix. <laughs> um, if you have the Netflix yeah. streaming service, you can choose these categories. And you might watch, uh, you know, documentaries about wine production in the first category or Hellraiser stories in the second. Or episodes of Only Connect, I assume, are filed under cult satanic stories. <laughs> but, yes, categories <laughs> on Netflix. So, no bonus point to you, Tequila Slammers, but you may choose a question. Lion, please. Lion. Ah, it's the music question. You will be hearing the clues. They all have something in common. What is it? First one coming in now. Next, please. Next, please. Usual voices. Next, please. Uptown girl. Okay. Is it uptown girl? Songs with girl in the title or uptown? Songs with girl in the title. They are not songs with girl in the title. So meeples, it's your chance for a bonus point. Um. They all have town in the title. They have town in the title. I heard you talking to each other and I was wondering how I'd adjudicate if you guessed singers with unusual voices. I mean, Tom Waits <laughs> and Jimmy Somerville really do, but you might say that all successful singers do, or they wouldn't be successful. Now, you heard Motown Junk, Downtown Train and Small Town Boy before Uptown Girl all have town in the title. So well done for a bonus point and your chance to choose. Horn Viper, please. A Horn Viper. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. Stan Lee is the guy that does Marvel. OK, next. I don't know who that is, though. No, I don't No, I don't know either. Next. Um... I another Lee. It's not it's Stan Vavrinka. OK. I think they're all Stans. Okay. They're all called Stan. I'm afraid they are not all called Stan, so I'm going to show the last clue to the Keyless Slammers for another bonus opportunity. They're all cameo, they all appear as cameos. They do not all appear as cameos. You recognise Stan Lee at the beginning. Stan Lee, Eric Banner, oh. Kyle Edmonds, the tennis player, and Kenny Everett. Stan, Eric, Kyle, Kenny. Oh. South Park. Characters in South Park is what we were looking for. They share their first names with South Park characters. So no points there. One more question. Water, that's for you, Tequila Slammers. Okay. First clue coming in now. It's a kind of celebration. Next, please. St. Malachi. And uh, St. Patrick, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Next, please. <laughs> and the political parties are the. It's the it's it means the party of something. The party of the people, the, part of the army of the people. Next, please. They seem to have the same logo. Do they all have the. the, the shamrock? They all have a shamrock as a logo. They do not, although I love the idea of an archbishop having a logo. But uh, they do not. Good guess, though. Meeple's a last bonus chance this round. Are there things that operate as one unit in both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland? 
they all operate on an all-island basis. What can you tell me about these clues? Uh, well, the Irish national rugby team does. There's only one of it. Well, it's unusual because um, it doesn't apply to all sports, does it? Some no, sports, not football. you have to be in Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. Rugby, they choose to play together. Sinn Féin, obviously, all Ireland. Archbishop of Armagh in both uh, Catholic and Protestant traditions. That guy, not the same guy, obviously there's two of them, but they're primate of all Ireland in that role. And the Fla Hoyle, it's an all Ireland music festival where there's qualifying competitions in both the North and the South. And sometimes the, the final is held in the North, sometimes the South, but it's all Ireland. Well done for the bonus. That means at the end of round one, the Tequila Slammers have one point, the Meeples have two. <laughs> On to round two, the sequences round, where the teams may see a maximum of three clues before telling me what comes forth. You'll be going first again, Meeple, so which hieroglyph would you like? Lion, please. First in a sequence of six round two questions will be this one. First clue coming in now. There's no... Anything very much. Next. Has three sides, has four sides, one more. One Everything's got a centre of gravity. Isn't it one parallel? Pair of parallel lines. Should we try yes, one more? Next. Yes, that's it. Yep. Um, of course, yeah, exactly. So, so no, it has three hexagon. Yeah. Not one, two, three. Hexagon three. Yes, you're right. Regular I'd love to hear hexagon. something else. A regular hexagon <laughs> three. And why is that? It's pairs of parallel lines in these shapes. That's absolutely right. Pairs of parallel sides. A triangle has none, of course. A trapezium, one parallelogram. And we're going upwards. And a regular hexagon has three pairs of parallel sides. I'd also have accepted irregular nonagon, although I'd have thought less of you for offering that answer. But I would have taken it. Tequila slammers, what would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay. Next, please. No, Harvey and King Wife. Why is George III in start? Next, please. Um, were, they succeeded, were they succeeded by people that weren't their sons? Or that were their sons? Or brothers? Where they succeed? No. No, they I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Queen Victoria. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for you, Meeples. Edward the Seventh. That's not it either. The answer is Edward the Eighth. Now, what were you thinking over there, Slammers? Was the it's something to do with the with way the succession occurred? With brothers. Well, it's not just brothers. These monarchs were all succeeded by people who were not their children. So George II was succeeded by his grandson. George III was his grandson. George IV by his brother. William IV by his niece, that was Queen Victoria. And the next would be Edward VIII, succeeded by his brother. Monarchs succeeded by people who were not their offspring. Meeples, what would you like? Water, please. Water. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Nothing. Next. It's brothers, it's um it's the Durrell family, Margot and then Jerry. Yeah, Gerald. Gerald. Is the right answer. Very well done. What is this sequence? These are Gerald Durrell's siblings who we meet in My Family and Other Animals, which is why we know who they are. That's absolutely right. Larry is uh, the author, Lawrence Durrell, and the siblings, Leslie, Margot and Gerald, getting younger. Well spotted for three points. Back to you, Slammers for a choice. Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. And what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Question. Could be. Could be. Next, please. Um, again, looking for translations or something. Next, please. Tarot cards or tarot cards. I'm afraid that's not the answer, although the number of times people in the middle of trying to answer only connect questions say, I'll just go for death, I think. 
Sometimes that seems like the only option. But no, meeples, you'll never go for a bonus. Troubles. Is the answer, and why is that? I hand over to my English teacher colleague. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, to be or not to be soliloquy from Hamlet, the last Let's one. Let's hear it. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or... To take Ooh, arms. troubles. To take arms against the sea of troubles and... By opposing end them. By opposing end them. Very well done. Excellent stuff. So you get a well-deserved bonus point for that. And your own choice of question, what's it to be? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Who's that? Uh, oh, right. no, that's... That's Rachel's the machine, I think. OK, next. It's a machine. Okay. No, that's an ATM. So it's yeah. R ATM. Yeah. ATM. 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 Well, a machine. No, no, well, it's R ATM. Is the okay. All right. Or an ATM. Okay. Just something. Okay. Just anything being there. No, just being an abbreviation like. Five. A thousand. Or. Because it's an M. Judy Dench. As M. In. Judy Dench is what we've got. Congratulations, you are correct. I just wanted to see if you could come up with 12 more examples. <laughs> what is this sequence? Uh, the first one, a Rage Against the Machine, or RATM. The second one is a cash machine, or an ATM. Mm -hmm. Then it must be TM for a trademark. And then M from Bond. That's absolutely right. It's RATM, ATM, TM is a registered trademark, and then something that's just M, for example, Judy Dench, or a thousand, or something else signified by an M. Very well done. One question remains, the Horned Viper. That will be for you, Tequila Slammers. What comes forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. What does that mean? I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. Next, please. Big. And why would that be? It, it's a random word. Always good to throw something in. It's good to have a go. I'm afraid you are not lucky on that occasion. So, Meeple's last chance this round for a bonus point. Um, no, I can't even think mm -hmm. about it. That's no. We don't know. Well, it's another one where we need an example of something. We went with seconded. It's all about the language of French. At the beginning of those words, jour, heure, minute, Oh, and we're looking for something opinion. with second, French units of time, day, hour, minute, and something with second or second at the beginning. Heuretics is a branch in the field of logic, but uh, it's actually about the words, not what they represent. We're looking for units of French time. Nasty! What a nasty quiz! You know you love it. <laughs> that means at the end of round two, the tequila slammers have one point, the meeples have 11. <laughs> Time now for the connecting wall and your chance to go first now, Tequila Slammers. You've got a little bit of ground to make up, but lots of points available here. Would you like lion or water? Lion, please. Lion. You have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Diamond, obviously. Plate. Uh, foul line. Okay, for cycle, cycle, cycle then, yeah. Cycle then. Right. Okay, that's right. So, things that are seven of, and mate, Sumurai. Seven, seven, I don't know. These are variants of the game of uh, Sudoku, Sudoku Killer. Uh, Deadly. Jigsaw. Yeah. Okay, try that one. Samurai is one as well. Oh, yeah. Sudoku Killer and De De Jigsaw. Oh, yeah, well yeah. done. Three lives now. That's, that's a film. Um, Part, no, these are part, parts part, of insects, parts of the, aren't part, they? No, they're parts of the finger, aren't they? Oh, parts yeah, of the finger, the finger quick, quick, yeah. quick, play yeah. Luna is the little thing, yeah. So, um, wait, so let's, let's do the three. Out, work out what they are. What's the... F OK, right, what's yeah. the last one? The plate or the matrix? Is the, is the matrix the main part? Well, let's try and work out what this group could be. That's yeah. right. Okay, Deadly, Kate, Thomas... Thomas. Hardy Brothers. Kate, Winslet, Kate... Um, If you, 
if you, if you take one letter off the word hard, cat, dead. Oh, good, good, good. Um, match, cat, lat. Cat. You've got a minute left. So we'll just, we'll just go for this one and this the finish. And yeah. Um, deadly sins, deadly nightshade, deadly. Um, Thirty seconds. Right, we'll go for it. What matrix? Or should we try and play? Yes, play. try that first. No. Matrix. Oh, one life. So try. Very well done. Just at the last minute, you pulled it out the bag. And what about the connecting points? Tell me about the first blue group, bullpen, mound, diamond, foul line. These are locations on a baseball pitch. They are features of a baseball park. And the green group, samurai, killer, jigsaw, tradoku. These are variants or developments of uh, Sudoku puzzles. That's exactly what they are, quite right. And the next group, Deadly, Kate, Hardy, Quick. These are things that can be preceded by the expression, kiss me. Yeah. I wish you just said, kiss me. I could have <laughs> run over there. We could have had a bit of I fun. I wish I had too. Kiss me, <laughs> Deadly. Kiss me, Kate. Kiss me, Hardy. Kiss me, Quick. Suddenly you saw it at the end there. And the last turquoise group, Matrix, Cuticle, Plate, Lunula. These are components of a fingernail. That's right, parts of a fingernail. Yes, plate, you weren't sure right away. That's the main body of the, the nail itself. So four more points for the connections. Bonus two for getting it all right. That is the maximum of ten. Let's bring the meeples in now and give them the other connecting wall, the water wall, and see what they can do about solving it. Two and a half minutes, of course. The time starts now. OK. So, Phil Tufnell yeah. is a printer, um, but that's not very helpful. Are there any other Phil's? Phil Swan. No. Um, um, Mel Brooks. Potato, Mel Brooks, Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Peter Cook, Blue Peter. Blue Peter. Talk, talk, talk. Good um, together. Um, that's um, all really. Yeah, quite. Right. Um, um, what are there? Are there any other? Tortilla is made out of corn. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. An old spot is a pig. Um, well... King Solomon. Yeah, I mean... Um, and King William. Exactly, mm. but no other. And Thatcher is Margaret, but doesn't mean anything else. Um, <sighs> there's a potato cake. blight. Um, yes. Head. Tortilla yeah. flat. Um... It's not like a tortilla chip. Potato chip, potato chip. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Right. Blue chip company. Yeah. You do yeah. that one, Gil. Um, um, tortilla. It's possible. To see. Yes, exactly. So there must be another one. Um, is uh, it, is it wood. wood chip. Yeah. I've done that. So. Yeah, that was, what's, what's oh, not sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Micro tortilla, blue, and wood was what you were on last time. Okay. I cancel that. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, so you've got a minute left. Talk show. Yeah, well, hang on. Cook is a cricketer. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Tesla. So um, it could be anybody though. If you know who any of the others Mot are. might be one, I think. Yeah. Um. Or Brooks, um. certainly. No. Oh. Um. So we'd need to keep trying just like... 30 yeah, seconds. That's actually first name like... Or yeah, just try surnames. Um, um, small talk, small potato. Spot check, talk. Yeah, we've, got the, we've got the chip ones. It'd be talk, talk, anything related. that doubles. Just try surnames, know. just try something different. Um, 15 seconds. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, um, and... Five seconds. No, that's it. The time is up. A tricky one. You didn't fully scale that wall, but you found one group, and I will give you a point if you can tell me the connection. Micro, tortilla, wood, blue. They're all chips. Types of chip. And you can also get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. That's how it should have been. Thatcher, Tufnell, Blackburn, Brooks. Cricketers. 
that's in not it. England, it is, no. <laughs> Phil Tufnell is a cricketer. He is yeah. also one of the winners of oh. I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, along with oh. Carol Thatcher, Tony yeah. Blackburn and Charlie Brooks. I'm yeah. a Celebrity winners. That and the next group, Caroline Marshall well, Cook Islands. Solomon. Islands. Can you tell me anything more specific? In the Pacific. Islands in the Pacific Ocean. That's what they are. And the last group, William Potato Spot Talk. No, I'm not getting it. Not seeing it. No. It is a word one. It's sweet. Sweet William the flower, sweet potato, sweet spot, sweet talk. Didn't quite find the sweet spot in that wall, but you did find one group and give me two more connections. That's a total of three points. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Tequila Slammers have 11 points. The Meeples have 14. So it's got rather close all of a sudden and will be decided in round four, the missing vowels round. Remember, teams, if you get these answers wrong, I will take points away. So buzz with care. Fingers on the buzzers. I can tell you that the first group of clues are all expressions involving body parts. Meeples. Hard shoulder. Correct. Meeples. Elbow grease. Correct. Tequila slammers. In the lap of the goats. Yes, it is. Slammers. Long arm of the law. Correct. Next category, CD. Slammers. Compact disc. Correct. Slammers. Cadmium. Well calculated. Meeples. 400. In Roman numerals, well done. Slammers. Drag coefficient. That's the last CD. Next category, things that come in sevens. Meeples. Steadly sins. Correct. Meeples. Wonders of the world. Correct. A tricky one, according to Ruskin, lamps of architecture. Next clue. Meeples. Hills of Rome. Correct. And there will be no more categories because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that finishing with 20 points and through to the next round, it's the Meeples. Very well done. And coming back from a long way behind to make an impressive 16 points, it's the Tequila Slammers. Well done for that great recovery on the wall. Some good round four. I think it's possible that with 16 points you might not make our highest scoring losers. If we don't meet you again, then thank you very much for coming. It was really nice to see you on this occasion. Meeples, we will definitely see you again. Good luck. And that's the end of the show. Thank goodness I am definitely ready for my first gin and tonic of the day. Later than usual, it's nearly nine o'clock, but it's a beautiful morning here in Wales. I wonder what time it'll be when they broadcast this. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.